probably the most prestigious cinema ever built in Great Britain during the 1920s. The Regent at Brighton was taken over by the Gaumont British Picture Corporation in late 1928, along with the remainder of the provincial cinematograph theatre chain. The Regent opened on Wednesday, July the 27th, 1921. It was described as a typical American theatre deluxe and a building revolutionary in style on a splendid and ambitious scale. The Regent was said to be a wonderland among cinemas, a gorgeous temple of the silent drama. During construction, the new complex was referred to as the Picture House, a name that PCT had used at their other important theatres. A few months before opening, it was revealed that a distinctive name had been chosen for the Brighton Cinema, the Regent and this was felt to be more appropriate for a town that had such close connections with the Prince. It is difficult to say just what style the scheme of decoration most nearly follows. It was neither Pompeian, Jazz, nor Egyptian. The style was really more Roman, yet the brilliancy of an Oriental atmosphere seems to scintillate about and pervade the whole design. The original proscenium was decorated with a procession of figures in red and orange on a purple ground. The Regent at Brighton was the flagship of the PCT circuit. During 1923, the temporary stalls entrance in North Street was replaced by a permanent structure and work proceeded on the long delayed dance hall built over the top of the auditorium. This opened on December the 10th, 1923. The complex was now complete with theatre, dance hall, restaurant and cafe. Just before the end of the main feature, on January the 25th, 1929, a fire started in one of the stage dressing rooms. This quickly destroyed the stage end of the building. W. E. Trent became involved in the restoration and it was decided to replace the original curved proscenium arch with a square framed opening. This had a special scheme of concealed lighting. In addition to the general and necessary redecoration, the entire seating was replaced and the standing accommodation improved. The Regent then began a new lease of life that continued until 1955. It then closed to have the circle shortened. The deep curve of the balcony would have clipped the beam from the projectors on its way to a cinemascope screen. Just seven years were to elapse before the Regent closed for the total devastation of the proscenium and splay walls. This time it was to equip it for 70mm prints. The Regent reopened in June 1962, but closed permanently on April the 14th, 1973. The building and adjoining properties have been completely demolished and replaced by the main Brighton branch of Boots the Chemist. <laughs>